Alright, um, three, two, one. So for today, we're going to be looking at the weekly video. If you guys don't know, we usually look at 801 challenges and Eververse. Unfortunately, we're like on week 18 now. Usually uh, for a season after week 10, there is no more challenges. So the challenges that you are looking at right now are the only challenges that are left. So if you guys uh, you basically you just guys have to need to finish those. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. I also apologize for the lack of content that I've been posting. But as many of you know, I've gotten a second job and I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just really tired. So <laughs> that's really why I haven't been uh, making content. I've been sleeping a lot and yeah, very unfortunate. But let me know what you guys think. Other than that, let's look at the first shader, which is going to be Genotype Null. Zero. This is a shader from a long time ago. This is um season three, so Warmind. Definitely a cool shader uh, behind a really cool activity. You definitely pick it up because it is rare, and it's also a really cool shader. I like the orange. That being said, um, the off color is this white right here, so that is very unfortunate. But the other color is, is like a carbon fiber with a like a very bright orange, which I think is really cool. We have New Pacifica Sync Worn, which is the rare shader. This is this actually wasn't even sold during Destiny 2 Vanilla. So yeah, that, that's how rare this one is. Definitely pick it up because it gives the armor a more worn look, hence why it's called worn. But like right here, you guys can see that it's kind of fucked up. Definitely pick the shader up. We have War Call to Rain, which yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I think it's the yellow, honestly. I'm not a fan of yellow. In general, it's like one of my most hated shade colors, so that's why if it has yellow, it's very rare for me to actually like it. As for the armor sets, are all right here. I definitely think this armor is worth a pickup for some of the class. Actually, all of the classes, if I'm being quite honest, a lot of it is really, really cool. Um, I should be showcasing all of the armor while I'm looking for this in the uh, collections because I don't remember how it looks off the top of my head for all of them. But for the hunters, I think the helmet is pretty cool. I think the arms are pretty cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the boots, unfortunately, pick your poison because there's like 16 variations of these boots. Not not that many. It's more like four or five. But we have these boots so in so many sets that I can actually show you within the collections if I really wanted to. And I think as unique as the uh, as the cloak is, unfortunately, at least for my hunter. There's like a really big gap between the chest piece and the actual cloak, so it looks like it's just hanging there. Titans, I think the helmet's cool. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the boots can definitely be utilized, and I think that's it. I think the arms, the uh, pauldrons just are kind of dumb in my opinion, and the mark is kind of boring. Warlocks, I think the helmet's cool. I think the arms are cool. I think the chest piece is damn cool, and the boots and the bond are kind of boring. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801. I definitely would recommend the shaders and some of the armor sets for sure. As for Eververse, I have to really mention this first. Where are you? So Season of Dawn stuff is here, specifically the Season Pass stuff. So the armor is here, the Kel Breaker um, finishers here, and then the other stuff here. But for, honestly, my biggest things here is the Virtuous Titan stuff. Uh, and the vert basically the virtuous stuff for all the classes is really good But Titan specifically I think have the best set just because the boots are really cool the bond or the uh, mark is really cool Chest pieces are really cool helmets are really cool. I think the arms are the only thing that's pretty terrible I will explain it further within further in the week because I do want to showcase all of this armor because I think it's really cool Basically do what we did with season of the undying armor where we looked at the armor and then I made example well, I didn't make example sets this one I am gonna make example sets because these are really, really cool and actually a little bit better than the Season of the, of the Undying. As much as I love the Season of the Undying uh, Season Pass armor, it's just Vex themed. This is more just like Techno Night themed, which is why I'm more excited because I have some really cool sets that I've made over ye the years. And I'm probably going to pick some from older sets, but definitely make some new sets as well. So be looking out for that video because I definitely will be making it within this week, hopefully. But... I will also recommend the Kel Breaker. Uh, I think this is one of my favorite finishers, especially for Titans. It just looks so cool. And yeah, it's just one of my favorite uh, finishers for Titans. Well, for anyone really. But for shaders specific, look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The reason I'm showcasing my Titan for this, which usually I'm showcasing my Hunter, which we'll look at the fit for the video after we're done with the Eververse because I totally forgot to do that. 
but we're going to be doing the game keeper so this is the reason why i switched because the game keeper is the shader that i actually have on this set and i think it's amazing i think the shader is really really cool and i definitely do recommend people to pick this up pick this up am i mad that they're not showcasing the colors here correctly of course but at this point like what am i going to do I'm, there's no power that i hold that will tell will make them change it so that is that hazard pay this actually doesn't look terrible like it looks decent uh ghost purple and then defense defenseless defend defenseless to be armed which is the ornament for this gun i forget what it's called i love this gun too it's one of my favorite guns totally forgot to keep the name but rec not recluse wow um <laughs> what gun is this callous please to let go yeah definitely i would say the better skin i don't like the base skin for the uh callous mini tool it just doesn't jive with me so this is definitely worth getting because again this is way better uh simon says and then for the stuff at the bottom we have space time weft i'm thinking about picking this one up just because i like it a lot more than the skin that i already have on it which is the i think the bone one but how much is this that's not that bad uh war torn peregrine star star racer 95 wow this looks fucking trash um razor scale shell this is the, the dragon one future future facing gauntlets which i'll show you what armor set this is from hacker time and then for the other stuff ossified entrance we have reef awakening or, or awoken i should say looks pretty cool fallen arrival and then for the shader reefer galia which is definitely a shader worth picking up i know it doesn't look good with this but the off color is silver and then the off off color would be the or the off the first off color would be gold and then the off off color which is like the second off color would be this silver right here um copper brand the yellow honestly bioloom it's the green yeah, if I, if, if I could find a shader that doesn't, or if I could find like a replacement that doesn't have this green, I think this would be really cool. And then Smashing Success, which is uh, the Hulk one. Someone someone commented that this is actually Hulk inspired, which makes sense now more than ever. Cause I was like, this is obviously like a Joker theme, but Smashing Success, Hulk, pink, green makes complete sense. So that is pretty much it for this. Um, I was gonna show you what armor this is from. So let me show you real quick. No, nope, I was in the correct slide. Okay, so collections. It is in Universal Ornaments. This is an Eververse set, obviously, and it's from this right here. I'm excited for this because I've never gotten it. But this was when they were selling it through the store, like weekly. Wait. They still do that now. Well, either way, I didn't buy the mark because I'm not the biggest fan of the mark, honestly. It's just kind of a uh, um, trash. So that's why I never really had a big like inkling to get it. But it's for future facing for the Titans, which is pretty decent. For the other armor set, it's going to be second page. Virulent set for the Hunters, which is decent. Helmet's really cool. Chest piece is really cool. Boots are really cool. And then the only thing that's annoying for this set is the fact that like the uh the vice the vice thing right here does not change color which is very unfortunate warlocks i think you guys have the better set honestly and you guys definitely need to pick it up i'm i'm not one i'm not on warlock it's gonna be the rate wrath trail set which is the um what's it called the text mechanic inspired armor set which all of it is really cool um the wrath trail boots specifically is my favorite and then the trail robes as well these two are super super dope the arms are decent i never really use them but they're cool and the helmet's so cool so i definitely would recommend this uh over every everyone else honestly the hunters has cool sets it's just that this is way better like honestly the chest piece for the warlocks is so cool so so cool so yeah um as for the fit of the video which i should have done in the beginning but i was too busy talking about other stuff is this right here i've sh i think i've showcased this one before 
but it's one of my favorite sets that I've made. Um, it just all fits together really well. The arms have spikiness, the chest piece has spikiness, the helmet has spikiness, and the boots, like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I just love everything about this set. And the funny thing is I'm only reusing the Fenrir's Bane Mark and the Fenrir's Bane Gauntlets. Those are the only two pieces that I'm reusing. Other than that, I think all of it, it looks really, really cool. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I should talk about a few things. First and foremost, uh, Bungie just released their live stream. It was really cool. They talked about a lot of things. They introduced the fact that Super Black is back, which for my old Destiny 1 veterans will know Super Black is a black shader. And for the new players are like, well, it's just a black shader. No, this is an old black shader. There is no other color and it's super dark, hence super black. In the game it or in, in the showcase that they showed, it actually looks super black. So I'm actually really excited for that shader to come out. They showed the weapons. Weapons are really, really cool. They showed the one of the armor sets, which when it comes to the armor, we'll make that video when it comes out. But overall, I'm kind of happy with what i'm looking at to be fair like one of my first thoughts was when i started looking at the weapons was wow i'm excited to like i can't wait to get some of these weapons and the other thought immediately after that was i really don't want to play the game to get these weapons which is kind of valid i guess because i some people might say well it's just you're burnt out and that's not the case because i haven't been playing destiny 2 like like not even religiously like i think i've put the most time this week out of the last like four or five weeks because i've been just been playing other things and you might be wondering like oh well if you haven't been playing how are you posting content well it's because i log in make fashion and then log out but i literally do not play this game that much anymore i think last week the only reason i played as much is because i was trying to farm for the smg and then i just really thought i don't really care about aggressive frame smgs honestly i don't really give a shit about those weapons because the magazine's so low usually that they're really not that fun for me at least in pve and i was literally farming it for a pve reason so i immediately stopped farming it and just started doing bounties and then immediately was like okay i'll probably do the titan one and then that's it and then yeah after that i was just kind of like all right whatever i'm gonna get on to another game so I haven't been playing this game that much and I still feel this way. It just, I don't know. Well, I want to talk about, I want to talk about it because I do think it's important, but I just don't think I care about the game as much as I used to, which is completely valid considering I put like 7,000, no, probably like more to eight to 9,000 hours in this game, not even including Destiny 1, which would be a lot more as well. It's just, I'm, I'm kind of tired, honestly, like this game as much as i love the first person aspect of this game because it, it is probably one of the the most best feeling first person shooters i've played aside from titanfall 2 because i think that one's amazing it's just onslaught onslaught seems like a good like a good direction where they're going where it's more than a horde mode but not by much because it really is just the way i view it is it's basically the zombies for call of duty they're giving us points scrap to basically activate traps which is just as much as we can get which is cool it's just i don't know if i'm going to care enough to do this enough to farm for those like weapons specifically they have a fomo type thing where they have skins that you can unlock and you can only unlock them before the next expansion comes out and i don't know if i care enough to farm that hard to get skins for weapons that i you can't even shader with them also the skins you have to either take the skin off or you can't shader them at all so it's one of those like why i don't know let me know what you guys think i've been blathering blathering long enough let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later